Hi, and welcome to Hidden Layers, where we'll show you how some of the advanced machine learning algorithms from Google Research work in a way that's easy to understand and accessible. I'm your host, Lawrence Moroni, and in this episode, I'm going to talk about text-to-video models. Now, these models are where you can give a text prompt and have a model generate video to match that prompt. So, for example, consider this short video that was generated from a piece of text. It was generated entirely from a text saying, an astronaut riding a horse. But how? That's the question. So let's first understand diffusion models for creating images. We go into that in a little more detail in another episode of Hidden Layers, which you can see in the links below. They're created by training a model that first makes an image completely noisy and then learns to denoise the image back to the original. But the magic happens when, as part of the training, a text vector with the caption is provided with the image, so when it's denoised, the caption is taken into account. Then, when you want to create a new image, you just create a piece of text, the caption for the image, it's paired with a random set of noise, and the model attempts to denoise the image into a way that matches the caption. For video, the process is very similar. But instead of adding noise to a single image, we're going to add noise to a number of frames in a video, taking noise and adding them to each one. And then the denoising model will learn to reverse this, taking into account the caption to get us back to the original frames. Because of the complexity of modeling video, it's trained on smaller, lower resolution videos initially, so the amount of frames to denoise is limited. In the case of Imagine Video, the model is trained on 16 frames at 3 frames per second, which gives you just over 5 seconds of video. And the resolution is just 40 by 24 pixels. So how do we get gorgeous videos like the ones I showed earlier? And that's part of the magic of Imagine Video. It works by orchestrating a number of models. And in this case, there are seven models. The first is the one we showed earlier. That takes the text prompt and turns it into a 16-frame video at 3 frames per second. The output from this is then fed into a model called a Time Super Resolution, or TSR, which increases the number of frames in the video, interpolating that 16 into 32, so now we have 6 frames per second in the video. This is then passed to the Spatial Super Resolution, SSR model, that keeps it at 32 frames 6 per second, but doubles the resolution to 80 by 48. This is then fed into a second spatial super resolution video that upscales the video by 4x. It makes it 320 by 192, but the number of frames, which is 32, stays the same, so it's 6 frames per second. So next, it feeds into another TSR model, and that increases the number of frames from 32 to 64, so we now have 12 frames per second. And then another TSR, which doubles the number of frames again, so we now have 128 frames of 320 by 192 video. And then finally, we'll feed it into another SSR to up the resolution again, so we have 128 frames of 1280 by 768 video. At 24 frames per second, this will give us a little over 5 seconds of video. So imagine video is more than just a simple model. It's an orchestration of models that first creates a small amount of video and then continues to upsize it in both spatial dimensions, which makes it bigger and clearer, and in the time dimension, which makes it longer and smoother. So in this case, we can get some pretty impressive videos. So there's so much more work going on in this space, so watch out for more videos from Hidden Layers, and you'll get them when you like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Music